What's up, Trey? What's up, what's up? Not too much. Thank you as always for joining us. We will begin with the first question from Sarah. Hey, Trey, um, can you kind of walk me through that final play where you got the game winner? Yeah, I mean, uh, for me, it was just try to find a way to get open, get the ball. Uh, and John was going to come set a screen for me, and then he lost his shoe and uh, just kind of waved them off um, because I didn't want any, anything to get out there and get messy. And so I just had to go make a play. And uh, I told my team in the huddle I was going to go make a play too. So uh, it was just, just happened like that. What are the emotions like for you after your first postseason win? Uh, I got a lot of emotions. I mean, obviously, I'm I'm happy. I'm excited. We won. Um, I'm truly blessed to be able to be in this position. Um, but I know the work's not done yet, and uh, just just one game. Um, enjoy this win tonight, and uh, for it being my first first win, first first game in the in the playoffs. Um, but back at it uh, tomorrow. Chris Kirshner. Hey, Trey, uh, what's it like for yourself when you hear 15,000 fans saying F Trey Young? What, what's going through your mind? Is it, is it like, I want to prove these people that, you know, I'm, I'm a dog or like, what, what is it exactly? I mean, I don't know. I've always looked at it as, as I'm doing something. I'm doing something right. If, they're, uh, if I'm affecting them with my play that, um, that much, that they – if they hate me that much, I'm honestly doing something right. And I uh, just got to let my play do the talking because at the end of the day, fans can only only talk. They can't they can't guard me. They can't they can't uh, they're not out there playing. So for me, it's uh it's just it's just a part of the game. I'm glad fans are back. I'm glad um, MSG was was rocking tonight. And uh, I'm glad everybody got to, to come in and experience experience their games back. So uh, it was good. And what is that feeling like at the end when you do make the shot and, and you get the last laugh and, and tell them to quiet down? Yeah, no, it's, I mean, it's definitely, I mean, I got it tatted on me. I, I, I put always remember on me because uh, I always remember everything. So I, I remember at the beginning of the game when they was yelling it and throughout the game a couple of times. So as I, as I hit the floater, it, it just felt like everybody got quiet and uh, I was waiting for them F you chance again. So uh, I, I was excited. Zach Klein. Yeah, whether it was MJ or uh, Reggie Miller, um, there's a lot of villains that go through Madison Square Garden. You embrace that role? Do you like that? Mm hmm. Uh, of course. Uh, I definitely know the history um, of players coming in here uh, being hated. Uh, and that's, like I said, I, I take that as a, as a compliment, to be honest with you. I mean, obviously, I'm doing something right if you, you hate me this much. So, I mean, I just embrace it. And, uh, and then focus, focus on my team and help my team win. And uh, at the end of the day, I mean, we'll get the last lap if we do that. Chris Vivlamore. Hey, Trey, obviously you want the ball in your hands at the end, but while the world was wondering why you were on the court, we understand it was kind of, you told coach to leave Lou out there for a little bit longer. And so I kind of wonder the balance of wanting to be out there, but seeing some guy that's cooking and, and wanting to keep him on the floor. Yeah, no, I mean, that's, that's something that uh, I've learned as just being a part of this league is the, the game is so long. And uh, I mean, anytime you can get breaks or anytime you can get a, a rest uh, and, and, you're, and you're winning and everything's going good for your team, um, you want to you want to use it. And uh, I'm about to go back in and then Lou had gotten a couple buckets to go. And I think we were making a run. I looked at Nate and just told him to I mean, I can I can stay out a couple minutes and things like that because they're rolling. So it's just knowing the game and knowing the time and uh, that there's still a lot of time left and, and and our guys are rolling. So just leave them out there and um, they keep it going to, to let them go. Jeff Schultz. Yeah, uh, continuing with the FU theme a little bit. Uh, I know you said on the uh, the TNT interview that uh, you heard it a couple of times when you were in college too. Have you always been kind of the type of player who, who fed off almost, you know, the road crowd as much as the home crowd? Yeah, uh, for sure. It's part of me. Uh, I mean, obviously I love playing in front of our fans and you love playing at home, but 
just part of playing on the road and, and everybody against you. And it feels like everybody is against you beside your team. And uh, just that feeling that it brings you together um, and you have to really be together to win those games. I think for me, those those are, are sometimes the best, best ones. And uh, I definitely like them. And, and as a guy who's been here almost from the beginning of the rebuild, I'm just wondering, you know, what your reaction is to just how the whole team um, responded in, in tonight's situation. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm happy with, with the way we responded and uh, everybody, everybody contributed. I mean, even to the guys who, who didn't play, they were always up and, and yelling and yelling out coverages from the side. Um, so, I mean, it, this was a total team effort tonight um, from top to bottom. Vince Goodwill. Uh, Trey, you mentioned uh, just being the villain. That's sort of been like a theme, but it's been mostly from like a crowd perspective. Have you ever sensed anything extra from opposing players if they felt like, you know, maybe the contact wasn't a lot and you get a call or anything? Have you ever noticed anything that maybe you get under your opposing player's skin and you can use that to your advantage? Yeah, no, I mean, I mean, no, I've never had... I mean, any type of I mean altercation with a, with a player with, with the way I play and things like that. I mean, no, nah, not really. Andrew Lopez. Hey Trey, uh, Lou said that uh, as as you guys were coming out the huddle for that last play, he told you uh, basically don't pass the ball, go 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 out and and make the play. What uh, I mean, did you need him to say that at that point, or was it uh, kind of you know you were you were it was made up that you were going to try and try and go win it. No, I mean, I, I don't necessarily need him uh, to say that, but I mean, it's it's encouraging. I mean, that's the best part about Lou. And I mean, some of the older guys we have is, I mean, there's a lot of things. I'm smart. I'm, I'm very smart at basketball. I feel like I know a lot. And, uh, but there's also a lot of things I don't know. So there's definitely times in a moment like that where I, I may have called the screen up and still went off it. And um, I mean, just Lou telling me that, uh, it clicked in my mind as soon as John lost his shoe that I needed just to clear it out and uh, and and go win it. So that's that's how I felt. Did it did it help that they brought uh, Frank off the bench to kind of guard you on that last possession in the first half to 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 give you an idea that that might be what you see on that last possession? No, nah, I mean that didn't have any that didn't have any uh, impact or anything like that. So I mean he's. He's a good defender. I knew. I know everybody about their roster. Uh, I played against everybody, so I knew knew what type of defender he is. So, Brian Mahoney. Hey, hey, Trey, there was so much noise here. When did you like tell it was directed toward you? And were you surprised at all about that? That it was such an individual thing. I mean, it's not like you have a long history of playing here. There's no great rivalry with the Knicks or anything like that, like the like the Reggie Miller type years had. They played many, many times. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. You didn't you didn't hear it? It was mumbled. Did you? <laughs> Did you hear it? I mean, I, I can hear it up here. Yeah, but yeah, okay, yeah. No, I mean, I I, I heard it. Um, I mean, I I heard it, and it was it is what it is. I mean. The Knicks ain't been in the playoffs in a long time. We ain't been in the playoffs. It's, I mean, it's it's important for both teams, obviously. And I mean, it's it's not a it's not just a regular game for either team. So, I mean, I wasn't surprised on how loud or or things they were saying. So, I mean, it's the playoffs. Stephen Bondi. Hey, uh, Trey. You know, the, the chants, the fu chants, were pretty loud up here. But how how loud were they? for you on the court and then um you know what what were you go, what was going on through your mind and what did it feel like when you were able to put your finger to your mouth and basically say shut up yeah i mean uh i mean i want to keep talking about this this chant i mean it's fans chant whatever they want to chant uh, we're gonna let them let them say whatever uh, but i mean really it's um i mean it is what it is i mean i've made the play and like i said i always remember everything so I got it. Like I said, it got quiet after um, I hit the shot. That's about it. Uh, just a couple more from Ian Begley. Trey, I'm jumping in here late, so I apologize if you were asked this already. But on that last drive when, when Neil Aquina was on you, were you surprised that you were able to get right as easily as you were? Did you expect him to try to take that away? 
I mean, no, not really. Um, I mean, actually, yes. I mean, I, I, I feel like for me, as anybody who pressures, I feel like I can get by anybody and it's just figuring out how to use one move and get, get by him. Um, obviously, Frank's a good defender. If you play with the ball too much, I mean, he can he can poke at it and things like that. So a defender like him, you just got to – you kind of just got to go. And that's that's what I did. I just attacked his outside foot and um, was able to get around him and get to my floater. Final question from Chris Kirshner. Hey, Trey. In your second summer league game, you went up against uh, Frank um, in that game and he kind of shut you down. And then obviously tonight he comes in to defend you. You hit the shot against him. Have you had an opportunity at some point in this, in this season to just think about the the amount of growth you've shown in your three seasons in the league? Um, I always take time to do that. Um, for me, I always take time to to reflect and, and reminisce on uh, the hard work and sacrifice it took for me to get here. And uh, so, I, I mean, coming into the playoffs, I mean, I definitely took time to think about, I mean, my high school days, um, the college days, obviously the summer league, I mean, I was able to really think about everything. I'm, I'm, I'm constantly uh, reminiscing and thinking about things because it makes you appreciate it. And uh, for me, that, that's how I look at it. So I'm, I'm constantly doing that. Thank you, Trey. Appreciate it.